Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a good breakfast. My name is John, and this is what I imagine myself to be doing in 10 years' time. I imagine myself walking towards a 900 horsepower open seater race car with 23 other drivers lined up behind me. The fans in the grandstand are going wild as I fire up the race car. It would be an amazing feeling as I'm one of the 24 out of the millions of hopefuls being cheered on. Well, most of you would be able to guess my dream by now. Yes, I would like to become a Formula 1 driver. This would definitely be tough, if not almost impossible. But with the backing and support of my team and my sponsors, I'm still hopeful that this dream will come true. F1 is a truly expensive and elite sport that requires huge sums of money. Therefore, it, it would be impossible to pursue my dream without, without the help of sponsors. And there are also many hurdles that I must face. One such problem would be education, because I will still have to study hard and yet make time for my practices and races. I'm currently studying in Victoria School, part of the new six-year integrated program. Outside of school, I'm part of the Kart Master Draka racing team. With them, I've already won two championships, and this year, I'm participating in the Asian Karting Open Championships. I've already completed the first two rounds, which were held in Macau and the Philippines. Wait, sorry, that was the first three rounds. I made a mistake. So the, uh, next month, I'll be participating in the last two rounds, which will be held in Indonesia, Sentu. So how do I achieve my dream and what preparations have I made? Firstly, I have made a well-structured plan. This plan may not be easy to accomplish, but with perseverance and determination, I believe that nothing is impossible. I started go-karting at the age of 7 and was racing regionally at the age of 10. I got a third place podium in Malaysia in an international race. This race consisted of a total of 33 drivers, some of which come as far as the Brazil and the Netherlands. When I got this third place podium, I was noticed and managed to secure sponsorship for my future races. Together with the help, uh, with the help of my parents and friends, a blog was also set up to help gain more sponsors and to publicize, to gain more publicity. This will become a tool to market me as a driver next time. So after that, I will start racing in Europe, where the competition is much higher, but so is the potential to be spotted. From there, I will hopefully have enough money from the sponsors who are willing to invest in me to start single-seater racing, starting with Formula Ford or Formula Renault, then to Formula 3 or GP3, then GP2, and ultimately F1. A season in single-seater races can start from 50,000 euros and go all the way up to 2 million euros. Therefore, with such high costs involved, it would be impossible to pursue my dream without the help of sponsors. Therefore, I'm currently learning to deal with media and to gain more sponsors. Okay, market myself. So, next would be to have good time management. A timetable is necessary in pursuing my dream. For example, if time is not managed properly, I will feel extremely exhausted if everything is done in a short space of time. On the other hand, I will not get enough things done if, if too much time is allocated. I study on weekdays, I practice my go-karting on Saturdays, and I attend tuitions on Sundays. Therefore, a balanced timetable is necessary. Okay, so next will be to have a positive mindset. If I would, I would need to be strong and stand up to the problems that I face. However, sometimes I feel that it's better to take a step back and look at what I've done wrong. Similarly, I do not get upset at the prospect of failing. Failing is part of the journey that comes with the many hurdles that I must face. For example, I've also lost many races to my competitors but I come back stronger each time. Last year, I only managed to qualify fifth after some problems encountered. Despite this, on the second day of the two-day event, I came back to win the event. I also bear in mind that the trainings and classes that I attend to enhance my mind are, to, are part of achieving my dream. I will have to endure and persevere because only then will the trainings bear fruit and bring me closer to my dream. Lastly, even though this may sound really weird, you need to have sufficient amount of sleep. 
it will help me save energy for the task needed to be, to be performed the next day. I also possess more brain power as my brain has been fully recharged. More ideas will pop into my head during school days and I will have better reaction time when I'm go-karting. Therefore, I will maximize my time use, I will maximize time as I have higher energy level. I would like to thank everyone for this opportunity to share my dream with you. As I continue pursuing my dream, you may follow my journey at www.johnleexh.com. I would like everyone to remember that it's never too young to dream. Thank you.